Good afternoon everyone. We gotta go to Athletics Kusad. Ito nga, kaibigan natin na naigo, nag-stand out among the rest sa tinirang bilang women's MVP ng UAP Season 85 Track and Field. Actually, one or two MVPs kasi yung taga-UP na si Alrayan Larbita. Uh, inviting ko siya sa mga susunod na araw. Uh, ang MVP nung time na yon. At we gotta talk with the women's MVP from the National University, si Alexi May Caimoso. Lex, pleasure to have you again on Sports Corner. Hi, Kuya. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. First of all, I know it's a great feeling to know that you won your MVP title in just your debut season nga sa UAP. Uh, kumusta na kayo after the win? I mean, it was really overwhelming, Kuya. I really didn't expect na maging MVP ako, like, to be honest. Kasi I, I competed almost every day. I have five events. But then I thought it was um, the other girl from Dilasal was about to get the UAP MVP. So for some reason, I was like, ah, it's okay. I'll probably get it next year. But then when they announced it and I heard that it was my name, I was so happy. I was just in cloud nine. And then after that, I was so tired. So all I ever did after the competition was rested. I just tried to recover again, just trying to read, finish my schoolwork, just rest more before I go back to training again. But all in all, it's very happy and I feel very blessed about it. So, parang it's a virtual uh, two-way battle between you and the DLSU girl. I think si Diana Ataato, si Bejoy, yung uh, nakalaban mo yeah. yung MVP title. Eh. Yes, ito si Bejoy. Ah, Bejoy. By the way, si Bejoy is also part of the national team. Uh, and uh, we get to talk to her in the coming days. Uh, go about Go to the preparations for that. Take us through with your preparations for the UAP. I know this is your debut season. Matagal ka na nag-train for NU during the pandemic sa Tarlacma noon. While pinagsisabay nyo rin yung training sa national team. How intense you are as you keep the training going yan sa Ultra and even sa NU. From your own perspective, do you think that's a prime na condition before UAP? Actually, Kuya, our training before UAP, uh, we focus level of competition so our goal for the training is actually see games still but instead um coach shan parang he um he managed the training program that it wouldn't be too much for me but it wouldn't be too less also for the competition because as you remember last year games i get injured so it, it only took me at least six months to at least recover and go back to competition again so I, I was very thankful that he was very, you know, considerate about it because I told him, Coach, as much as I want us to have a very intense workout and training for this coming UAP, but I think na parang it won't be really much helpful for me, especially if I'm still recovering from my injury. If our goal is um, C Games, and if you train me hard just to win for UAP, what will happen is I might win for UAP, but then I won't be able to compete for C Games na if, you know, my injury gets worse and worse. So we manage our training again from time to time. I do my academics in the morning. In the afternoon, I attend my training. If I have free day and free time that I don't have ahad, so I don't have work, I try to at least, you know, focus on training and give it my 100% talaga all the time. So we train whole body from strengthening of my injury to strengthening of my core and both physical and mental health talaga. Pero nabagit mo kanina, you came from a uh, injury while training or maybe competing in several uh, uh, international competitions back then. But at least you managed to get some time to recover and to put back into your right peak of your condition. Kamusta yung uh, pag-aandal ng inyong injury at yung pag-recover? Actually, before I competed for CG, I was injured, diba? And then the feeling, I got injured many times. But then that's the type of injury. It was really painful. I couldn't sleep at night. I couldn't walk properly. To the point that little movement really hurts me so much. And then I was at the point that parang it's affecting not only my sports career, but also my modeling career and, you know, outside that. So I got so stressed to the point that I was thinking that, oh, maybe I should rest more in sports. I was trying to tell myself that maybe I'll rest for two years or maybe I'll stop. I don't know. Maybe I'll focus on other things. But then, you know, my partner told me that maybe, you know, just try to recover and try to compete again one more time. So I didn't compete every week for the past months. We have a weekly relay, a weekly patapa relay. And I haven't competed in any one of them because I'm mentally still scared. Maybe I had that fear of the pain of injury, maybe the fear of failure during the SEA Games. 
that made me not want to compete again. But then I tried, my coach told me for the finals of the Pataka relays that he told me to compete, just even one. And then I competed, but then my performance wasn't that good because like, you know, I trained again, but the performance wasn't that good. So when I was about to compete for UAAP, I wasn't that much com- confident. I feel like mentally, I was more confident of it mentally than physically because I know that my mind can do it, but my body might be able to give up or I might be able to feel my injury again once I'm competing. But then so far, you know, I really just conquered my fear. I really just go out there. I try to prove to myself na parang, you know, I can do this again, that, you know, I'll be able to bounce back as, as before, like as better as before. So parang, that was it for me, Brian. Yan gusto ko itatanong ko sana kung nakasali ka na sa Pataka Weekly Relay Series na alam natin isa sa mga magandang uh, avenue na rin para sa mga tracksters na pagbutihin yung ganila mga record times and of course yung mga magaganda performances there. And of course alam natin mahalaga din yung ACADS, yung studies, eh. of course balancing the both studies, athletics and your modeling career. Well, training, did you also take time to do studies na rin for NU, kahit online or face-to-face? Yes, yeah, so basically, it's really a balance of like modeling, the academics, and the training. I really, I think right now, my most priority is really academics because it's really important. But I always, I always try to make sure that my sports career, lagi siya nandun. So I spoke to my coach, na parang coach, once it's really a hard time, I can't, you know, we can maybe compromise along our training time. Now, I don't care if we start 9 a.m. or 10 p.m. as long as I finish my ACADS and then we go back to training. So it's really training first. For me. I mean, academics first for me and then sports comes second. I say, you know, it's re- I'm, I'm graduating. I'm on my fourth year. So I think it's really important that I focus for it one year. From now. Okay. That UAB state was also coincided with the Thailand Open. Magkasabay ito na end. Well, where the other natural athletes are joined. Sayang nga lang ang opportunity. Pero it's a great way that uh, you represented your college, you are, uh, you are uh, uh, ailed for. And of course, uh, in that uh, competition, yung nag-debut ka, nanalo naman ng uh, three goals, tapos one bronze, and then MVP. Pero kung uh, mag- hindi magkasabay yung UAP sa Thailand Open, tiyak, alam ko, preparado ka. Yeah, I wanted, my coach told me about it, yeah, that like we were supposed to compete for the Thailand. Yeah. And for me, because yun na nga first competition ko supposed to the international after SEA Games. Pero sabi niya sabay sa UAP. So, you know, I really need to choose UAP first because I haven't competed in any UAP before. And then, you know, it's university because I'm a student of NU, so I need to compete for UAP first. So, But then maybe if it wasn't really at the same time, I would really, really love to compete for Thailand Open. Oh nga eh, kasi imagine, I think 2019 ka nakapasok sa NU kasi uh, uh, you up, uh, uh, natapos na ata, no, nag-enroll ka, tapos dumaan ng pandemic, nagkaroon ng two-year uh, break, but, but of course, natuloy na rin. So, of course, you won the gold sa F3, pero bago yan, how excited you are that you will be going into competition against several national training uh, pool uh, members said the like like Sina Pejoy, Daniela Tanyata, uh, what else? Marami pa eh, na mga national team members na naglaban doon sa UAP. I was really excited, Kuya. I was really happy because, you know, finally after UAP, we was able to, you know, give a chance again to expose our talent, to show to our coaches and to our university that this is what we train for, all of the benefits that we're getting from them, all the benefits that have been helping from us. We're finally able to put it on work and to try to give honor and pride to our schools. So I was really happy and you know the feeling was was good. Because those teammates from the national team, I was able to saw them compete in their own event too, to the point that some of them kalaban ko panga in some events. So it was really fun and really good experience. Na parang, you know, it's your teammate and national team, but in the UAP, they're your competitors, and I like the way na parang you're just really focused on your track, your own lane, and you do your thing, and there's no bad blood to it or anything. And it was really fun for you. As I said, Kanina, you won the gold sa Eptatlon. Medyo mahirap nga intindiin at itong format kasi ito yung nabanggit natin the past interview. Seven events in one sport. Ito magal yan yes. na days eh. 100 meter hurdles, long jump, shot put, 200 meters, long jump. Uh, I jump pala. Uh, 
sa Javelin Throw, 500 meters. In the first place, yeah. number 46,003 points. Ah, uh, balik. 4,603 points. Sorry, ah, medyo nag-correct lang yung uh, computation. Uh, plus, you have also won the gold sa uh, 100 meter hurdles, high jump, and bronze in long jump. So, it's mas challenging. At can you tell us your takeaways or uh, observations on your performance in all the events you have joined? Your performance and the right attitude to play? Yeah, I think overall, because the UA five days competition, I think for me, the most challenging was maybe more of the, the last day. Because the day one, I have high jump individual, I won gold. The second day, I needed to join the javelin to just to make points lang for our team. But luckily, I was not able to finish fifth. On the third day, that's when our heptathlon started. But then it was really a struggle because in between my shot put event and 200 event, I had 4 by one event. So I needed to shift my focus from doing heptathlon to doing the, the team's competition. Yeah. And then after that, the next day, I had three events, which are you know the long jump, the, the javelin, and the 800 meter. And then that's day four now. So from day one to day four, I had... Compete, I've been competing for like every single day and my body and my mind is both physically and mentally tired that when I woke up the last day I was like no I don't think I can be able to do this because my body is hurting way too much I was even crying because especially after hepta when after hepta the body pain that you're feeling is really a lot and it's really too much so the day five of my first event was hurdles um hits I was doing hits but in my mind I was tired so I didn't know I just need to qualify for the finals. That's all. I need to qualify for the finals. So I ran. And then I made sure I qualified for the finals. After that, 20 minutes after that, I had long jump individual. And then my, my, my longest jump there is 551 long. And then I was ready to settle for third. But then one um, girl from FEU, she jumped the same um, jump that I did. So I needed to make another jump just to make sure I exceed that I'm secured with a bronze medal. So 20 minutes after we finished long jump, I had um, I had a final so 100 meter hurdles. And in that point, it was really more of my body in the tired now because um, my legs, it was very hip, heavier now. It's really heavy. My body was really tired. My hands were shaking. Now, even my coach, my coach, Coach Shanjibara, he was he was thinking, I mean, can, she, can she still finish it? She know I can finish Like, he know I can finish it. But then he's worried, I might be able to get the medal because I was really tired now. But then, it's really mind over body. I told myself that this is last and we can do this, you know. Uh, we just really need to be focused, really need to stay resilient. And there from the start, you know, from the start of that last event, I was really I wasn't nervous at all. I didn't feel the being nervous. It was more of really how will I finish this strong? How will I finish this strong? So the last three hurdles, I was able to come back now and then I finished really the get lang, the get lang with the FEU or USP. It was really the get like. 0.2 millisecond ng siguro, and then I finished and I won the gold and found out MVP it was a good experience. So, bale, itong last day ng competition, dyan ka lang nairapan, dyan ka lang nakabaan siguro, na pressure siguro. But at least you yeah. overcome it and uh, you won the MVP title. And what could be delighted that due to that stellar performance of your own? nakuha mo yung MVP honors. Ano ba yung reaction on, na, on the top of your mind na ikaw ay napili ng mga organizers na manalo ka ng MVP along with that guy from UP, si Labita from the men's side? I mean, if you think about it, to be fair, a lot of athletes out there, especially women, had competitions every day, especially Bihoy. Bihoy was my closest friend from Western Visayas and then my closest friend in national team right now. So she had four, four or five goals. Four goals. So I can see na parang she was really doing good in her events. Everyone, even the Abigail from UP to also did her best. Even Pama from US really did her best. But maybe what really made it different because every single day I had competition and it wasn't just one game. I always have at least more than two to five games every day. And being consistent with that and staying focused on each event, even though you know you're doing hurdles now, but then after a few minutes, you're going to do high jump. It really takes a lot in you. So I really, I'm really grateful that they really looked at it like that. Parang they need to see who's the most, um, you know, who really worked out more there, who worked a lot and all. And I mean, if I wasn't able to get the UAAP, the MVP for the UAAP, I, still, I think I'm still going to be happy because, you know, I really, I showcased my talent and then they was really happy with my performance. But then being able to get the MVP was really different. Like your hard work really paid off 
I think that is for me. And of course, it's a great to know that nakasandal yung support ng inyong coach, si Sean Guevara. Sean Guevara, Coach Sean. Pati yung NU yes. management, I think si Sir Oti Kamangyan is there to cheering you. Kasi sabi mo nga before sa past interview, bunti ka nang hindi ka na maglaro sa NU due to problems with the academics. Pero yes. ano nila na may mapagkumbabang loob ikaw na muli kang uh, makabalik doon sa NU and you managed to won the title and uh, won the MVP kahit alam natin yung uh, NU I think four placer lang doon sa overall standings ang leg champion that time was UST UST oh po kuya UST Pero kumusta yeah. <laughs> so, nga ang inyong uh, support system ninyo ni Coach Yan and of course yung NU management and The support has always been there and um, I think uh, financially with me uh, mentally they've been there you know telling me you know i can do this especially after i got injury now that's where they was really there for me because it was really mind like when your mind you're not you're not gonna do this you're gonna be scared to the point that your body follows and i'm grateful that there was there sir oki was there telling me na, you know if you have any problems with your academic you're i'm able to reach out to me and then i'm going to help you but then Ever since I really don't have academic problem, my grades was okay. I was able to pass everything. Na man, so that was happy. Na I'm both really competitive, just not in track, but then outside track also. And of course, the uh, one uh, thing that we forgot to mention is your lola nga pala, kasi alam mo yung bilalaki ka sa inyong lola. And uh, nakapag reach out ka ba o video call ka sa inyong uh, lola all, uh, all the way from uh, Iloilo? Uh, learning na ikaw nanalo ng MVP. I actually spoke to Lola a day before UAAP. I just told her, Lola, I have he didn't know that UAAP is that week na. I just told her, Lola, I have game with UAAP. And she said, what do you mean? Because she's old na. I was like, the UAAP, the college competition that I'm, tra- I'm, I'm training for. And she's like, how many events are you doing? I told her I have 13 events. So that's already with Haptine Individual. So she just told me to, you know, uh, she knows I can do it. But she just told me that I just need to pray all the time. I need to be very, very, like, you know, very resilient and at the same time, take care of my body because she was more scared of my injury instead of how I'm going to do. So she's just, she just told me, don't worry, I'll pray for you. I'll pray that you'll do good. I'll pray that everyone in your team will be able to do good and no one gets injured. And then I wasn't able to talk to her all throughout the competition in five days. But what I did is I spoke to her the day after the competition and then yeah, I told her, I, I, I finished um, MVP, I won three golds and then one bronze. And she was so happy because she thought uh, I was doing an alarm, had not long long. But then when she found out that I did x ray she was even more surprised and happy. Okay, so what's next for you? We can no, nag usap tayo of the air, back to zero na yung uh, training ninyo. Uh, nakakapag uh, lakad ka muna sa Luneta bago ka magbalik dun sa mismo track training. Uh, we expect to see more action from you kasi mataga, um, baguhan ka pa lang sa UAP, meron pang apat o tatlong taon ka pa nandun sa NU at baka ikaw pa rin magdodominate doon. And of course, the national team which is uh, gonna be an excited one uh, kasi maganda yung kalendaryo ninyo. Ang dami mga international competitions. Most prominently, the SEA Games and the uh, Asian Games. Yeah, yes, Kuya. So training namin now in coach naman the last few AP I really competed every day he saw that my body was really tired so he told me to rest muna to recover from it before we go back to our strength training again so right now yun nga like every night what I do is I go to the gym muna I just start to lift just try to stay active lang stay active and fit lang so once I go back in track my body won't be surprised na naman na had heavy training so basically after this I'm just near from the next I'll just jog going there and then probably do some, you know, drills lang naman. So try to stay active because next year really has so much competition. So, you know, we really need to go back to the intense training again to focus for SEA Games again. What keeps you motivated in your journey nga for being the top Western besides Jackster? Matagal ka namin nakilala sa Palarok Pabansa, sa WBRAA meets, Vibraa meets into the country's top heptathlete. Kayo ni Sara De Kinan yung uh, uh, namumuno ngayon sa heptathlon team. Eh. Yes, kuya. Yes po. <laughs> what keeps you motivated and inspired to continue your passion sa heptathlon and even the other track disciplines? 
I think um, heptathlon really is really a, not an event for everyone. Heptathlon is really tiring. It really takes a lot in you. It tests out every part of you. Like, I think what really keeps me going, what keeps me motivated, is really on how um, my influence. Maybe I wanted to influence more people on the talent that I had. And it's not really more of me proving myself to people all night. Because you don't really have to prove everyone your capabilities or your ability. So it's really more of you using the God-given gift from you to, to share it to people or, you know, to be able to influence them. So that really makes me keep going right now, that I'm happy you know, some kids out there reaching out to me, like at the Alex, um, I saw your pose and it really made me motivated. Now, now I'm going back to track, I'm running again. Like those are the things that really makes me happy and keeps me going right now for you. Parang sa dami ng mga inspiring message niya, eh, di, uh, most of them eh, gusto nila maging isang trackster. Eh. Kasi may ilan dyan, eh, uh, nangangarap din maging model, and, uh, beauty queen someday katulad mo. So magmamodeling na tayo ang aking mga uling tanong. Uh, uh, kamusta na nga yung modeling ka rin yun? Talagang in demand ka na sa pag-ramp model, sa mga fashion shows, so maybe in the photo shoots. while doing duties for NU and uh, National Team. I think I saw you uh, on an intimate black dress doon sa isang uh, fashion show before sa Manila, no? Sa I- um, ko nakita eh. UIS fashion show, yeah. Oo nga. At saka, guess, uh, through with your modeling career, and uh, what is the latest right now? I think um the so far in modeling career, work with very good um, influencers and then agencies, I was be able to at least be competitive. Like my last work, I had worked for international master's photography competition. I worked with Sir Tom Ned and he flew me all the way to Shargao to had a really good photo shoot with them. The team was really Wakanta style and the shoot was really fun. I had really fun and modeling, you know, one thing is always fun and it's just there, you know, it tries to keep you updated of whatever the sport is not making you updated in the same time. Modeling is connected with pageantry, so I think I'm aligned with the both sides. Just as I always try to balance both sports because in modeling, so wala kong maiwas. Oh my, nalala ko tuloy yung uh, photo shoot niya sa Shergao. I think I saw some uh, pictures there uh, on your IG na talagang super sexy ka dun sa shoot. And of course, tribe, tribe, uh, tribe team talaga yung uh, mismong tema nga ng... Uh, Uh, shoot yung ating mga IPs, no? Yes, kuya. Yes, kuya. That, that, that uh, was the theme of... So, ano nangyari doon sa Shagaw? And of course, napaka-sexy mo talaga doon sa mismong shoot, no? It was fun kasi it was two days lang. The shoot was two days. So, I tried to spoke to Coach Jan. I think, Coach, is it okay I go to Shagaw for two days? I, I just need to go for work. And then after that, I promise I'll catch up with the training na nakulang ko nga. At first, he was like hesitant to let me go, but then he know that it's really, it's really, you know, a way of living na like you earn more to it. So at the same time, di ko naman talaga pinatubayan yung training. He saw me that once in training, I'm really focused. So he let me go there, and then I worked with them. The people was awesome. It was really fun. The the the, the person that I worked to it, he's um he's American, but then he married a Filipina. So it's really just really fun work. So what are the upcoming plans nga pala on your modeling uh, career? Meron kayong mga in-invite na mga fashion shows na maaari kang uh, salian? Or um, for, mod- for modeling kasi Korea, it's really agencies. They reach out to you when there's specific that you need to walk, attend, and all. But on my other side of pageantry, I think maybe next year after SEA Games, maybe I'll join the pageant. Uh, after his- I really just need to prioritize competition first and after that. I wanted really to enjoy pageantry and, you know, explore the other side of myself naman because saya. Oo nga eh. Yan po yung sagot sa mga nagtatanong na kung kailan siya babalik sa mga beauty pageants eh. Kasi kami uh, ang hinakala na sasali ka sa Miss Universe, sa Philippines, sa Pilipinas, Pilipinas. Pero you decided na mag-focus on sa inyong uh, growing sports career. Anyway, Alexi, since we have a uh, interview you uh, twice before wala muna tayong photo op syempre pero it's uh uh it's your turn now to say your, a few words of uh, thanks and support and appreciation as a close to my marks na bilang uh, pasasalamat niya dahil nanalo ka ng uh, title sa UAP uh, MVP title 
Yes, uh, I mean, very first of all, I just really want to thank God, you know, for the given gift that He gave to me. Uh, and then to my coach, Chan, I think Coach Chan really has a big role in, in my sports career right now. He's always been there for me. He was really a father figure, not just in track, but then outside that. He was really one of those persons that was really concerned of me and my well being as a person. So I'm really grateful and thankful for him for always supporting me, always motivating me, and always pushing me to do one more. If I'm tired from training, one more. If I can't breathe, just one more. He always do me one more. And also to the National University for always, you know, they're supporting me when I need something. They finance me if I have a problem with, with schools. They're just there supporting me. My coaches from Enmins, Sir Dadas Das, Coach Henry, Coach Elmer, to my families, to my teammates, both any and Philippine team, that's, you know, pushing me forward. And especially to my partner that you know her family is really supportive they're like pushing me to go further and further and to those people out there that i really forgot to thank those mga kids now you know, really admire you as a big fan and i'm really grateful for them for and you know at least looking up to me and really giving a special place in their mind that you know alexi can do it alexi was good and all that so i'm really really grateful for all of that and for everyone out there thank you Puya, also for always being there reaching out and then for always congratulating me thank you Okay, so again, thank you, Alexi, for joining us. Uh, for taking time to join us. I know, babalik ka pa sa inyong home training muna, syempre. Kahit alam niya natin, medyo na just lang tayo sa oras. Ngayon lang ako nagising. Uh, medyo na po siya. <laughs> uh, again, I wish you all the best and keep it up. More efforts pa sa inyong athletics and modeling career. We continue to back up and cheer you in any way you can. Again, thank you, Alexi, for joining us. And see you around. Bye! <laughs> Ingat po kayo!